All right, episode two of Steel Game. I first episode absolutely loved it. I can't wait to take and watch more of this show. And I, I know everybody has been, but the first episode, I kind of see the reason why I was like, "Oh, you've got to look at this show." I'm I'm glad glad I finally did. So let's go ahead and get into episode two. Oh, it's you. Is that you in the butchers? Aye. I've already been in. You'll just have to come earlier. Uh-oh. What the heck? Chicken chop? No, nope. Peggy's away with the last of them. Oh, big bastard. <laughs> what is it with you? What? Three weeks in the trot, that big blimp has humped me out my jigget chop. Here, that's enough. She's lonely. How many did she have? Eight. Eight chops? What's she trying to do? Build a coup to keep her company? <laughs> Just have to come in early. Keep the kids happy with angel delight. <laughs> Evening, Jack. Let me see this. Hey, see you here. Oh, hi, hi, it's lovely. Hi, hi. Is that half your old door? Hi, hi, it is. I, I just uh, battered some juriclet on it. It's come mm. up nice, eh? Mm. I think it's important to create the right impression from the start, you know. Uh, Winston was good enough to procure me a doormat, eh? Uh, one of them with the greetings written in it. I've always wanted one of them. Very nice indeed, Jack. You've arrived at the abode of Mr J Jarvis Esquire. Uh, Wecklam. Eh? <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> 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 Winston, three and a half quid up the swanny. Oh, come in the kettles, just by oh, no. Wecklam. Welcome. Get up, you. <laughs> smells really nice in here. Is that pledge? Got it in one. I've been cleaning all day. You've been cleaning all day? Well, well, Eyes has been cleaning, you know. Oh, Eyes has been cleaning. You're a liberty taking big bastard. <laughs> Short talk. She offered to help. She's coming back tomorrow to do that back room. She wants to pump you. <laughs> and you're just using her. You're giving that woman false hope. Anywho, what's it all on, Eddie? Matt John's coming up this weekend with his family. Oh, Jesus. Don't start. He is coming up. <laughs> it's, it's, he's using someone to uh, that's wanting to... Uh, <laughs> she'd want to pump you. So, this might as want a little bit of a sexual pleasure. <laughs> Leading her on so that way you get a clean house. There's worse things you could lead someone on for. <laughs> Just... Lord have mercy. No, he isn't. Or you're then setting yourself up for a fall. What are you talking about? He's over in London from Johannesburg, visiting her parents, and they're all coming up to me at the weekend. No, they are me. Her parents, you say. Whereabouts is it in London they live again? Crouch End. Crouch End. In the big house with all the rooms. Set amidst a half an acre with a big pond. They're going to up sticks and come all the way up here to make dead mansions. <laughs> I've got a perfectly good sofa there, and I've got a pulley doing in the next room. That's right, I forgot. In the West Wing. Right, you. <laughs> he phoned last night. What did he say? He's going to try and get a flight on Friday morning. Victor, we've been over this road before. There he was in Edinburgh last year for a whole week, and he never once came through to see you. I had the flu. There was no point in him coming through and getting smitted. Push! He's coming up on Friday, and that's that, right? Oh, Lord. Arguments over Never family. We'll see. Sounds like the son don't want to see the dad. <clears throat> oh. That mealy mouth bastard. Him, it's always done up like a dandy telling you what to do with your hoose. Andrew bastard. I hate him. Right, what's he saying? Yeah, even more crotchety. Yeah. Um, do a kind of a, um, a cut. Yeah, all the way up, pink. What the a pish. Yeah. Get that way up, Jack. Uh, really? Give me that. Turn that yeah. down. Yeah. Are you deep, you well, bastard? Like yeah. 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 Yeah.
Here you. Calm down. The answering machine will catch it. Oh, I can't even walk that bastard. It's useless. Message. What? Hello? It's Jack. You're not on. That was me. <laughs> I know. Well, you're not supposed to rub out all your old messages. On the instruction of who? Captain Panasonic. Message. Two. Hello, Dad. Listen, Dad. Uh, flying up isn't an option. Thank you. So I've popped into Waterloo and I've got train tickets, so we'll be arriving at Central Australia. See you then. End of message. <laughs> oh, no. What time did he say? I couldn't hear the time for that noise. It could be any time. No, wait a minute. Let's think logically. We'll be arriving on Friday at... <laughs> half two. Oh, yeah, half two. No. Oh, that's smashing, eh? Thanks very much for that, Jack, eh? What about this? Weird way half of, uh, three, trying to figure it out. Four, oh, fat, you silly bastard. <laughs> this is a disaster. I don't know when they're coming up. Here's an idea. We'll take the machine where he shugs. What for? He was a communications officer during the war, sure. Never done going on about it and all. When I was in Tobruk, broadsword calling Danny Boy. <laughs> prick. Aye, here's a prick, aye. I'll give you that. I think he's your fella, aye. Oh, I could hear a pin drop, aye. <laughs> Who sleeps fully clothed? What kind of psychopath is that? Get to the butcher. <laughs> better run, cuz. Better run. <laughs> oh, now you get stuck. Oh, no. Check it, chops, please. How many would you like? How many have you got? No, 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 no. That's not how it works today. How many do you need? Uh, um... Um, um. Ah, got you sweating new, haven't I, fat so? Um, How many um, chops has Bill got? Four, um, five. Um, How um, many? Six. Yes. Six chops, please, Bill. I'll probably not manage them all, but I'll see what I can do. I'll probably have to give the last two to the dog. You lousy bastard. <laughs> Square go. Right now. Right here. Wait a minute. Don't get your ass cut, I think. Yeah, I got a steak ready for his eye. Wait a minute. Careful, the flare's wet. Come on, Rams. Wrap up my chops, Bill. You know, sometimes, Mr. Lord don't have know. mercy, yeah, all over some chops. No, no. Carnage and all that. <laughs> Running about with nail legs. I say all over some chops. It's all over somebody's uh, insistence on... <laughs> Seems like her and the butcher are in on it together. But uh, making sure he's not getting something that he wants. Disembodied heaps of young blokes you once knew staring up at you. Yeah. That wasn't it for me. Yeah, well, national service was plenty, aye. Far more civilised. <laughs> Feeling totties. Nights in the naffy. <laughs> Firing it up the front lines. <laughs> oh, but the VD. Oh, why the VD? Right Hello, on. Victor. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Winston? No. Uh -oh. He was brawling in the butchers with Peggy McAlpine. Oh, because I hated that big bastard. Yeah. She fell on him. Oh, Jesus, is he dead? <laughs> you should better go up and see him. I will. What time is the visit then? Eh, uh, two to three. Here, I better get a move on. After you, I'm going down to Mr. Tail for today's Wendy's. <laughs> she must be wanting to pump him, I know, eh? <laughs> Jack? Yes, Isa? Your door's looking lovely. Thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Here, Victor. Don't be annoying him. As old as he is, he's still bloody handy, and he is doing us a favour. Look, let's just not be hanging about sitting there while he rattles on about the war. Shut up, he'll hear you. Oh, I can hear through bloody walls and all now. Ah, you can. Jesus Christ! Can I, can I for you? <laughs> he can hear a pin drop. Jesus Christ, where at? In the hell? <laughs> Jesus, he's got radars. Those aren't ears. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He can tell you what's going on in China. And he'd even got to be watching the news. He could just hear everything perfectly clear. It's like a spy master's headquarters. Right. How can I help? Uh, right, well, uh, Victor's got this machine here now. It's an answered machine. Uh, but part of the message on it's obscured because his boy that we think said a time. And we're not uh, sure. Uh, Hmm? That would drive you right off your nut, wouldn't it? <laughs> the hell is he doing? Oh, I sure go. Oh, oh, dear, that. <laughs> right, uh, a message you were saying? Right, what we've got to be working with, eh? Right. Ho, 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 where are you? Look at this uh, state of the art, up to the minute. Piece of shit. <laughs> Wait a minute there. Hey, where does the coal go? <laughs> I, uh, very funny, Sean. Just, uh, let me go. Now, you'd imagine this would be the smallest tape you could get, eh? Aye, uh, uh, you would, Sean. No, not so. I used to carry smaller tapes than this during the war. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if you the border or you get taken in, you have to... They don't care to hear about the war. Person. Three hours show. later. Up your ass. <laughs> no, Vic. That's the first place they would look. Well, where would you put them, Shug? Tucked up my bell end. You can get two or three in there. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. What's in the tape, Shug? We'll find out soon enough. OK. Message two. Public telephone. Oh, Train station. Uh, fine up, isn't he, an option? Man in the background arguing with a guard. Fill a bag in. We jangle the coins. Man reading a paper, big paper, times. The hackney. This man is giving a play-by-play -play on, on on everything that's going on in the background. Like you just. Oh my God. This dude can hear flies cleaning themselves and jacking probably from three rooms over. What the hell? Pulling away for the rank. Oh, I love to get that exhaust fixed, eh? Hi, very good, Shug. What time does my boy's train get in? Well, how could I know that? It's obscured by the horn of an RL Blue Line diesel train. <laughs> I didn't even know they were still running. It's like a fat lot of help that was. Well, listen, uh, thanks for that, Shug. I, I just leave it with me. I'll uh, isolate the EQ and centralise the bandwidth. Aye, uh, that's what to do. <laughs> that's your lift coming. See, he's doing the Klansman. Aye. Aye. I heard that. <laughs> Aye, Friday. It was up on Friday, my son. You've got a son? I don't know that. Aye, well, I have. I'm sorry, Victor. It's just I've never seen your boy. That's because he wouldn't sully himself coming into a shite hole like this. Oh, mm. doesn't he like men's pubs? Big poof there, huh? Oh, you, no. Let's see your bloody lip. Or would you like to cut your clientele by 50%, eh? Half wit. Don't bother your ass with him. Jesus Mate, that was Christ. Mate, that Central Station there. Now, there are seven trains coming into Glasgow from London on Friday. Now, these are the times. 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. Ah, uh, my John wouldn't get that overnight train. How? Like when he was a young fella, he got the sleeper one time, you know, and some queer heart tried to touch him up. <laughs> well, there's the 1.30, 2.45, there's a 3.30, there's a 4 o'clock. No, he wouldn't be on the 1.30. Well, what's the matter? Did somebody touch him up in the 1.30 as well? <laughs> Shut up. Well, he's going to be in one of the trains. That is, of course, if he's coming up. He is coming up, Jack. I'll have to do a stake out. Eh? Aye, like detectives. I know a day job, aye. Me and you, on the case. Coffee, donuts, a flask. Oh, all Blankets. right there, Colombo. <laughs> Blankets? All right. What detective has a bloody blanket? Eh, uh, ah, come on, Victor. That'll be good fun. I love Central Station. It'll be good. What's good about Central Station? 
People watching, the comings and goings, aye. Women breaking their heart cause their loved ones are being taken away, aye. Station cafes, brief encounters if you like, aye. Winching couples under the clock on the steam. Steam? <laughs> when was the last time you were in Central Station, John? 1954. Aye, I thought as much. You see, Jack, your train stations nowadays are all full of junkies, whores, murderers, and beggars. Aye, 1954. Pitch, like he's been. Uh... Ta. Aye. Central Station. Central Station. Junkies, whores, <laughs> murderers, and beggars. Hurry up. Aye. It was the council. 1974. I remember that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, I don't know it's such a good idea going and sitting down there all day, Jack. Who? Oh. Might not show. He will turn up. I heard the message. He said as much. Aye, well, he's let me do it in the past. So it's funny. He's he's sitting there and he's trying to... And it's a friend thing. I'm a... You know, sitting there going, my boy's coming. No, he's not. We've seen this before. And now he's like, you know, there's no reason for us to be up there all day. He might not show. And now he, he's taking the opposite tack because he, he doesn't want his his friend to be disappointed but at the same point in time he doesn't want to so that that's 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 true that's that's a friend right there just you know a couple of times and then you get the excuse after me hey? look i wasn't going to mention this is you know winding me up but well it was my 70th he was over in london i tell him it was my birthday he says he knew but i don't think he did jack you know Anyway, concoct this big plan. Oh, da, we're going to get a car. Come up and see you. Make a big fuss. Spend the week. So I stock the fridge up. Prezzies for the wains. Even bought her a bottle of scent. <laughs> well, it was a no-show, wasn't he? Some problem with the insurance for the motor. Some bloody story. Do you know I've still got that bottle of scent in the house, Jack? Ugh. That's your wains for you. See, they've got it all in front of them. They don't mind letting you down. It's just Poor another fella. day for them, you know. Wrapped up in their own lives, families, jobs, which is fine. They're just a wee bit truthful. They can't be asked seeing you. Ironside! <laughs> what? Aye, detective with a blanket on his knees, wouldn't you? He wasn't even listening. <laughs> He done no. tuned him out. <laughs> Big fella. Aye, I'll let you have that. Hi. Hi. Five minutes to the visit. Mm-hmm. You got your family coming up there? No, my family's away. My pals are coming up, but... Oh, nice to have pals, eh? I guess the bottom line is you've got to look out for each other, you know. Mm. Not your family off the hook, Victor. At your age, it's all about friends. <laughs> and they don't forget him. Oh, poor fella. <laughs> Aye, you're right, Jack. Friends. Support each other, you know. <laughs> Help each other out. Looking out for each other's welfare, you know. Watching out for the symptoms of loneliness or depression. You know? <laughs> That's it. Suppositories. For all the good they'll do me, I might as well stick them up my arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Nuts! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, he's feeling awful let out. He's gonna think it's them. Oh, no. Poor guy. <laughs> See you later, Jack. Oh, oh, Jesus, two o'clock. Bobby, get that television on. 3.15 at Jackson. Oh, there, yeah. Okay, bye, 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 bye. See you. You all come back, you're here. 
pair of bastards. <laughs> Winston's warrior. See, I always back that because of Winston. Aye, you do, aye. Right, that's me eight pound up. What are you having? Pint. Two pints, Bobby boy. Hello, Jack. Hello, Victor. No, 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 no. I'll be with you in a second. Right. Bobby. Hey. Shug. Uh, Twenty-two pound sixty. <laughs> yeah, for find out when your boy's arriving. Oh, aye. Aye, I'm fairly certain it's 2.30. Well, oh, that's excellent, Shug. Let me get you a wee haul. No, no, hold the bus there, Victor. I'll be getting a free one in just a moment. Bobby? £22.60. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> There's some man out enough, Shug, aye. I've certainly taken away all Victor's mind. Not mm. right, Victor? Eh? Hey. Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> Hey ho! <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, it's used to. I'm no bad, aye. I'll be getting out the motor. That's again. Here. Take these. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of grapes. Stick that in your locker. Here. That's smashing, lads. Cheers. Oh, here's a nurse coming. Hello, Mr. Ingram. It's time for your injection. Would you excuse us for a minute, gentlemen? May need, darling. We'll hold him down, hen. <laughs> what? Hey, let's not forget his supposedly. Oh no! Well, <laughs> 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 right, Mr. Ingram, practically slept through the whole visit. Have I? Oh. I remember this vividly. Oh, aye. Oh, aye, aye. Stand. Stand. Too much in fifty years. <laughs> you know what? You know, it's got to be pretty bad for old dude and the, uh, he, he's expecting them two to roll through. Expecting them, you know, because said your friends come to visit. Now he's probably thinking maybe they aren't as good of friends as what they, uh, what they say. And of course, he's got his own thing going on and it, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, poor guy. But then again, let's hope the son, you know, I'm hoping the son actually shows up on his visit. But then again, it says family, so, and the way it's spelt, don't have high hopes. Used to be a piccolo player. Is that right there? A piccolo, eh? Aye. Aye, he was rare he was really good. He was 80 years of age, that fella. Uh -huh. He was always shouting, I'm 80, I'm 80 years old. Wonder what happened to him. <laughs> the 80 year old, for the 50s. He's probably getting ready to celebrate his 130th birthday with all his other deep pals. Yeah, right enough. <laughs> Turn on the button. Right. What time's the train? Uh, two thirty. <laughs> Jesus. We are doing this days early. Ten o'clock. Be yourself, please. It's important to get there well in advance, you know. See what the layout is. And see how the board works. What are you doing? Trying to. Well, everything is, you know. And that way, when that train rolls into town, boof, we're ready. You got an exit plan? Right, Houston, platform one, two thirty. Man, I'm starving. Doctor! Hey! What do you want? <laughs> I can't do no. anything! I'm just hollering across the way. <laughs> Anything at all, Jack? I'm no bother. Well, I'll pick. Hey, you pick. <laughs> Fast food, be Christ. I don't know. You are bloody execution. Right, well, there you are. What have we got here? That's your triple burger box car with cheese and extra oh, meat. Oh, I'm actually hungry, so this... a large fries there. Right, a hamburger and french fries that. sound good right about now. <laughs> there you are. That's the end of the lane box car jumbo cola. Which was all right. £4.40. If I drank all that, I could piss the Trevi fountain. <laughs> right. If 
Right, or that you need to wheel me him in a bar right here. Got some that guy right there is probably he's homeless. Of it, the way he's we looking, come on now. The way he's looking at them, he's probably don't have some food. He said that for. Forgive me, gentlemen. I may be misreading the situation here, but I believe your man's apprehensive about his son's visit because, dare I say it, he's been let down in the past. It's a terrible thing to be made feel unwanted by your end. But we should have no truck with bitterness. The past is set in stone. The future is unwritten. Get oh, lost, Jesus you Christ. Poke nosed bastard. <laughs> oh, take your birdie dick. They don't have that they don't have need for that type of optimism around here. Oh, one a cloak. I'm Why did you get there that damn early? What the hell? Look, you've got the delicatessen, the coffee shop, R.S. McCall's. There's plenty to be amusing yourself. Aye, ah, it's a regular Disney World. I'm spoiled for choice. <laughs> Here, I swap papers. Well, fill up the next two minutes, eh? A whole hour left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Turn that into a deadly weapon, they ain't careful. <laughs> Two o'clock, they get, still got 30 minutes. Even he's enthralled. <laughs> no hand eye coordination on that one. Thirty. All right, and they're gonna be asleep when he walks. Up. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Four o'clock. Oh Jesus! Come on, come on. Yeah, it's two thirty coming. Aye, right in the nose. Was it a lot of people go off it? <laughs> Did you see a family? Aye. Probably a lot it's of them. 500 families, in fact. <laughs> Listen, don't panic. They might still be in the station. Aye. Maybe they weren't on the train. Poor fella. They must have came straight for the station. I should probably let them in with your key. Uh-oh. Hi. Oh. <clears throat> the Wanderer's return. Winston, what the hell are you doing here, eh? I thought you were in the hospital. Aye, well, I was, for all you two care. All day I sat without a visit. So much for your friends looking out for you. Sorry about that. I've been a wee bit wrapped up, you know, with my family coming. That's how we never uh, managed up to come up and... Sorry, Winston. Look, it's all right. Why did I get family anyhow? Eh, uh, my family... Well, uh, they had to cancel, uh, because uh, there was a scare on the trains. Aye, uh, it's rotten luck, really. Into big time. Aye, ah, it's uh, rot rotten luck, Jack. Aye. Right. <clears throat> Somebody fancy an angel delight? Aye. Aye. I was trying to. Well, it's just so heartbreaking, and the fact that he's sitting there trying to soften the blow for him, so he didn't have to explain. Oh, you hate to see stuff like that, man. I uh, see. He made six of them for the family coming up. Angel delight, so lovely. There's only four here. It was her idea. <laughs> <laughs> you had to Jack Winston now, eh? That's nice. There you go. Oh, thank you. Right, Clump. 
Thank <laughs> you, you bastard. I've been meaning to dig you up about that. That bloody door, man. I've took no end of pelters for that. I know, I know. I've had a lot of complaints about them. It's no worries, though. Problem solved. <laughs> home sweat home. <laughs> Aye, what with lugs? Shaggy! Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to come over and blow the tits off us about Timbrook. Ah, uh, right enough. Aye, uh, prick. <laughs> Who do you suppose is in the bag? Ach, the eye buys that shitey breed, you know. Snappy shopper. <laughs> 22 <laughs> pence a loaf. <laughs> That's because he's a miserable old bastard, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they forget how well his hearing is apparently he heard every bit of that <laughs> oh man you got to feel sorry for the man he's he, expecting his son he, he's wanting his you know his family to come up and it's been nothing but empty promises, and yet again, the man's let down. Even when, I mean, they were so early at the train station. That's what friends are for. So, you know, that's that, that's a friend that's it's better than a brother, almost. You know, it's just always there. Uh, wow, really good episode, man. The writing on this one was just... I liked, I liked this episode a lot. Now, granted, they did... It was so wrapped up in his own family thing that it, they did forget about Winston being there in the hospital. So, but at the same point in time, you know, they uh, definitely, you know, <laughs> you could see there when they noticed him, you know, what are you doing here? And then it was like the realization, like, oh crap, he's supposed to be in the hospital. And, and him taking and coming after him like that with the, well, you know, neither one of you come up there and see me. They're both like, oh crap. Well, yeah, well, this was going on. So it's just. I, I like this. I like this. The the, the the kinship to the friendship that you see in this, um, in the first two episodes, is, especially with this one, being called family and then no family showing up, but you're being family to each other. Um, really enjoyed this. I hope y'all like this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.